bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, for he has done great things, he has done great things, my daddy has done great things, he My daddy has all great things, he has all great things, bless his soul. He has all great things, he has all great things, he has all great things, he alone has all great things. He has all great things. He has all great things. Bless his holy name. Psalm 103 verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. All that is within me. Bless his holy name. That means my head my shoulder, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, they all belong to Jesus. <laughs> your head, your shoulder, your knees, your toes, every part of your body is supposed to be praising the Lord. It's a profound statement there because you see there are times we want to praise God. We hear like, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. <laughs> Have you heard the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak? Well, the psalmist is saying in Psalm 103 that body, spirit, soul should all at the same time worship the Lord. No reservation. Nothing like, ah, I wanted to go to church this morning, but I am tired. Oh, the weather. Oh, the this. Oh, the that. Oh, transport has gone high. What do you do? <laughs> you save. If the transport is high from Monday, begin to save. Immediately you get your money. As you begin to receive money from Monday, begin to save. Before Wednesday, you have your transport, you have your offering to go to church on Sunday. But this is an error to go to church only once in a while, whereas we go to our offices, we go to our business places, we do a lot of things every day without reservation. He didn't say that, oh, it's raining, I won't go to the market. Oh, it's raining, I can't take my children to school. Oh, I, I don't feel like going, going out to work today, I just want to sleep. We don't do that. How come when it comes to the things of God, we now begin to have excuses. We are saying here that no, let there be no excuse. You compare. <laughs> I remember in our early years of marriage, I'll be sick, not feeling well all day. <laughs> but when it is time for evening service, I've never missed any service. I'll just get up. I begin to will myself to get up. My husband will be looking at me, <laughs> my senior pastor. Then after I hear him, I get up and say, hey, you've been lying down, no, you're not well, you're strong. But now that it's time for service, you're going to church, you've woken up. I say, yes, so. But you know, I can never go to church and come back the same. By the time I come back, I'm strengthened, I'm renewed, I'm energized, I'm made whole. And that has always been the testimony. Even when I got pregnant for our second son, and I couldn't really move out much, I looked for another nearby church to attend weekly services. Well, I reserved Sunday service for a church that was far away. I never gave myself any excuse not to be in the house of God. And immediately I put to bed one week, two weeks. By the third week, I'm in church. Because I said to myself, there's no justification to go to market, to go here, to go here. And I can't go to church. 
to bless the Lord who has blessed me, to honor him, to magnify, to testify of his goodness. And so we are here to say, don't do that. Let all that is within you, head, spirit, soul, and body, all praise the Lord, magnify the Lord, exalt the Lord, like the psalmist have said. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Banner of Love Ministries International. It is an honor and a great privilege for me to come your way. You are there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King, that you may have life and have it more, more, more abundantly. On Facebook, we have a page that is loaded, informative, educative, inspiring. All you need to do is to just type the name Edith Atake, E D I T H A T A K E account to pop up. Go like, share, subscribe. Thank you so, so very much. You don't know him, you can know him. We are not testifying, you can testify, you can bless him, you can sing like you sing. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that, that's all your sins are forgiven, get your Bible, get it in the devotional. And I assure you that your life and my life can never, will never, never remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much. God bless you.